Hey there, and uh, welcome back to another Godal um, tutorial. And uh, I'm your host, Jin. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, make an enemy AI in Godal to Godal engine in a 2D uh, setting. So here. If you are following along my previous uh, tutorial, you would have a character player and uh, enemy player. Enemy AI is not that di much different between and uh, not that actually is not complicated than a player uh, controller. So we're gonna achieve enemy AI using uh, Godog Scrap and uh, basically the idea is for a simple enemy AI we are gonna assuming the enemy is gonna walking from right to left towards our player and whenever the enemy um, encounter in a war it will turn back like, like this one so we color the enemy uh, turn around yeah color uh, blue since we are using the same animation as our player character so we adopt that the only difference is the scrap and the enemy scrap is much simpler than a player scrap. All we need is um, to set the uh, velocity in uh, horizontal direction towards left and uh, adding the gravity effect using the physical engine uh, Godot provide and also we're gonna use uh, is on wall a built-in Godot 2D function that detecting your enemy is uh, approaching to a wall and uh, as long as it turning uh, heading a wall your enemy AI will turn you around to another side and uh, the move and slide building function to help um, the physics of the enemy movement of the velocity and also we're gonna adjust the animated uh, sprite according to what direction our enemy towards to and also depending on what velocity it has we gonna give your, the enemy a different animation so the code is also including a optimization of your enemy so when you having a massive level with a lot of enemies each enemy would perform differently that might consume a lot of uh, computer power especially for low-end computer the, that may, might affect gameplay uh, players gameplay so we're gonna add a node to the enemy which body um, kinematic body it's called uh, visibility uh, enabler 2D. You can find the uh, invisibility enabler 2D under node 2D node. So this um, specific built-in node will help you uh, to detect the enemy is in your sight or not. If the enemy AI is not in your sight. Uh, basically, the AI 
or the shutdown itself that saves some computer power. So in this example, we drag the window until the enemy disappears in our window. So in that moment, the enemy is in idle, actually they're not consuming CPU power as long as we drag along. And we would keep walking, keep walking, keep going until it hit ball of the edge. So, yeah, and uh, don't forget to separate different materials in different things. And uh, hope you learned something from this video. I will see you in next one.